Hello viewers, today we are going to start a series on metamorphic petrology. In this series, I will cover metamorphism and metamorphic processes, type of metamorphism, factor responsible for metamorphism, metamorphic great phases zone, structures, textures, type of metamorphism, regional and contact metamorphism, phases, different type of phases based on low pressure, medium to high pressure and high pressure phases and also the comparison of all the phases particularly in regional as well as thermal metamorphism. Now let us start the metamorphism and metamorphic process. Prior to this, we have to understand what is the metamorphic rock and what are the basic difference between metamorphic and sedimentary rock and igneous rocks. Igneous rock is a primary rock and mainly formed by the crystallization of magma. They may be intrusive or extrusive types. Similarly, if these igneous rocks are weathered, transported and is deposited somewhere in geosynclinal basin, then due to different processes acting during sedimentary rock formations, later on these sediments change into sedimentary rocks. Further, if igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks suffered by pressure and temperature, then they are changed into metamorphic rocks. So particularly, the metamorphic rocks are formed by the metamorphic processes in which the pressure, temperature are main factors and for this the pre-existing rocks may be your sedimentary or igneous. Now let us see about the metamorphic processes and metamorphism. Normally the metamorphic rocks are found in the core of the orogenic belt, particularly the area which has suffered, they are mainly the sedimentary rocks like cell, grayback, etc. or argillaceous or naceous rocks and also the associated igneous rocks. They may get affected by pressure temperature and later on change into metamorphic rocks, particularly in this change that must be a solid state. Now let us see what is the word of metamorphism and from where it is derived. The word metamorphism comes from it from the Greek word metamorphosis meaning to change or alter form. As the name applies, metamorphic petrology is the concern with transformation that take place in rock the distinction between metamorphic petrology and igneous petrology is that the former is restricted to change that take place in the solid state whereas igneous petrology is concerned with the evolution of the rock that were at one time liquid or at least partially molten. Now see what are the changes particularly in metamorphic rocks. If suppose we will see the comparison in pre-existing rock as well as in metamorphic rocks, there must be analogical change, there must be a structural change along with isochemical change. If suppose we will see two, three things is important particularly the diagenesis and weathering process must be excluded from metamorphism. 
If suppose we'll compare igneous rock or sedimentary rock, which ultimately change into metamorphic rocks, then there must be certain new set of mineral formations, particularly during metamorphism. Now look at on the screen and see the definition of metamorphism. Metamorphism is the process of mineralogical and structural changes of rocks in the solid state in response to physical and chemical condition which differ from the condition prevailing during the formation of the parent rocks. However, the changes occurring within the domain of weathering and diagenesis are commonly excluded. Normally, the igneous rocks are formed at very high temperatures, particularly right from 650 up to 1200 degrees centigrade. If suppose we'll see the sedimentary rock formations process, so normally the sediments transported and deposited somewhere in geosynclinal basin. Later on, the compactness, lithifications, and diagenesis occur, and normally the sediment change into sedimentary rocks. Particularly, the diagenesis process occur below 200 degrees centigrade. Normally, in diagenesis, no new set of mineral forms, only recrystallization of minerals. As compared to diagenesis and metamorphism, when temperature more than 200 degrees centigrade, then diagenesis merge into metamorphism particularly and in metamorphism, a new set of minerals form with side by side, there must be structural change in rock which are different from the pre-existing rocks. Say for examples, if suppose we will take the structure point of view, like any dike rocks which are metamorphosed, so we can see both textures particularly igneous as well as metamorphic. Particularly in metamorphic point of view, there must be some sort of new mineral forms, maybe hornblende or garnet. Then on the basis of that, we can say the formation of new minerals and particularly the metamorphism occur first in grey wax or in basic igneous rocks. Normally, they are prone to weathering and metamorphisms. So these are the factors particularly how the sedimentary or igneous rocks change into metamorphism with the effect of pressure and temperature and normally there must be a mineralogical change, there must be a structural change as compared to pre-existing rocks. Particularly, the metamorphism start always above 200 degrees centigrade. Now it's time to say goodbye to all of you. Thank you very much.